Hey, howdy guys. So, uh, Mudslide Mac, uh, big shout out to Mudslide Mac. Mudslide Mac sent me a, a video, got it posted up, all you guys I'm sure seen it, saying uh, how bouncy Saj. So he's basically asked me to uh, analyze the uh, bounce of his table. And that's what we're gonna attempt to do. I already went through and uh, did it. Uh, had a video that I was getting ready to post up when I played it back, couldn't see anything. The white balance was all crazy. So hopefully this comes out a little better. So uh, we're gonna get started with his first throw. which started at 16 seconds into the video. And uh, we're just gonna go dice out. We're gonna set the spectrum analyzer peak hole. And as soon as the dice hit the table, that's all we wanna capture. And what I'm realizing more and more, in order to, in order to get more accurate with this, really, I need to figure out a way how to just edit down the dice initially hitting the table, not the back wall, not the, any of the back wash or anything, just when the dice initially hit the table. That's what needs to be isolated, okay? Just that initial hit of the dice on the table. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and start here with a uh, mudslide mat first throw okay and we're about to go dice out so soon as we go dice out I go quiet here it goes dice out all right his first toss, the uh, the average frequency response, or the the amplitude of the highest frequency comes in at 420. Okay, that's when the dice initially hit. We try to freeze it right there. So that was 420 hertz. Okay. Now let's go to his second toss, which was at. Uh, 45 seconds in okay so let's go 45 seconds in and we're gonna reset the spectrum analyzer take off the peak hole all right and let's go dice out Once again, the uh, the average uh, frequency response that we got was right at 420. So, and I say use an average of uh, about five toss because uh, you know your toss all toss aren't the same. Some might be high, some might be low. You know, uh, so the dice might actually, you know put out a little bit more sound so that was uh toss number two 420 420 hertz frequency response so let's go ahead and uh let's go to his third throw that's uh, two minutes 10 seconds in into the action there we go bring that up right there and I, as soon as the dice hit the table, I am going to try to kill it. And that's what I gotta uh, figure out. Uh, I gotta get a program to edit the sound down to almost kind of like when you loop in something, just so I can get just that one hit. Okay, so here goes. Dice out. Once again, right up at right up at 420. Okay, 420 is the.
frequency response that we're getting. Okay, the average frequency so far for that toss was 420. All right, let's go to his <clears throat> toss number four, <clears throat> which came in at uh, three minutes, 35 seconds in. Incidentally, that was an eight he threw. <laughs> Six two eight. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's go to three thirty five. Okay, reset the spectrum analyzer. Peak hole off. Okay, and time for me to go quiet. Dice out. Once again, and I'm sure how well this shows up in video, but uh, I got the uh, the the hash mark, the cross here right at where figure would be at, which is at on, on that 420, okay? So here's average frequency response that we're getting right now. That was toss number four, 420. And we're gonna do one more just to uh, lock it in. Okay, and we're gonna jump to, we're gonna jump to his last toss, which was actually a beauty, which was at uh, 708. Okay, jump all the way up to 708. All right, 708 was his last toss. And of course, because it was such a perfect toss, it ended up being seven. Big Red showed up. It always works out that way, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so let's reset the spectrum analyzer. Peak hole off. And time to go quiet. Dice out. And there we go. And the last one was spot on. All his thoughts were spot on four, right at 420 hertz. So we don't even have to do the map cause we're not all over the map or anything. It's uh, the, fre the frequency response of a uh, mudslide table is 420 hertz, okay? Which, which is uh, bouncy, okay? by adding that piece of uh, uh, felt on there, Ad added some more bounce to it. So uh, yeah, so there you go. And that's how, uh, that's how we're gonna try and uh, uh, crack this nut to figure out uh, underlayment of the casinos. And uh, then once you know the frequency, then the hard work begins, which is fine tuning your table by putting whatever you want on there, paper, more felt, uh, you name it, you know, uh, cardboard, whatever, okay? So there you go. So thank you Mudslide Mac for submitting that, send it in, and uh, so we can say with a straight face, the frequency response of Mudslide Mac table is four, 120 hertz, a solid 420. Way to go, Mudslide. This has been the Saj. Saj out.